most of our food items are cooked and eaten. Some food items such as fruits, nuts and some vegetables like carrot, radish, tomato, onion and cucumber are eaten raw. Whenever we eat raw vegetables or fruits, we should wash them before eating. These raw fruits and vegetables provide more minerals and vitamins than cooked food. We should always wash the fruits and vegetables before cutting or peeling. If we wash them after cutting, water-soluble vitamins and minerals will be washed away. So, we should wash them only before cutting. Why is there is need to cook food? Why can't we eat it raw? Well, cooking makes food tasty. It makes food soft, which helps in digestion. It helps in killing germs present in food. We should take care of the cooked food properly. Let me tell you how. We should always keep our food covered to protect from germs. The food should be cooked properly for sufficient time so that it could be soft enough to eat and digest. To avoid spoilage, we should adopt different methods to preserve the food. When the food is in excess, we usually put it in a refrigerator. This act of storing food is known as food preservation. If you leave food outside, it will be spoiled. Let us know about some food preservation methods. Refrigeration Germs do not grow at very low temperatures. Foodstuffs such as milk, bread, vegetables, eggs, fruits and cooked food can be preserved by keeping them in a refrigerator. Canning Some foodstuffs can be stored in airtight containers. Bacteria and other germs cannot grow in them as they do not get air and moisture. Fruits, fish, meat and sweets are canned for preservation. Boiling Boiling kills the germs. Boiling helps in preserving liquid food like milk. Drying Some vegetables like carrot, peas, cauliflower etc. are dried. The bacteria and other germs cannot grow on it as there is no moisture. In this way, Foodstuffs can be saved from spoilage. Pickling Food can be stored by adding certain chemicals known as preservatives. A commonly used preservative is salt. Salt and oil are used for making pickles with vegetables like cauliflower, raw mango, lemon etc. Vinegar is also used to preserve some pickles. Making jams Most of the fruits can be made into jams by adding sugar. Excess sugar is also a good preservative like salt. Microbes cannot grow in jams because of excess sugar. You have burger and french fries in one plate and porridge and veggie in another plate. Which would you prefer to eat? Of course, the plate with burger and french fries. The junk food is easily prepared and contains many chemicals to give colors and flavors for smell. All these chemicals can harm your body. Junk food have low nutritive value. Some chips and other fried things are usually fried in very cheap and low quality oils which are harmful to health. So, it is good to avoid such food. Let us summarize. Food is the basic requirement for all living things. The food we eat contains nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Water and roughage are also important for our body to do many functions. Cooking makes food tasty, soft, appetizing and easily digestible. Cooking also kills the germs present in food. We eat some raw food which have to be washed and cleaned before eating. We should always wash the vegetables before cutting but not after cutting. We store the food in refrigerators to avoid the wastage of food and spoilage. We can also preserve the food by canning, boiling, drying, making jams and pickling.